ready to fight. Ready. Do it. All right, here we go early in this round. Sidel Gon, the former UFC interim heavyweight champion, and most of the heavyweights will tell you he is one of the more difficult big guys to prepare for because he moves like a little guy. And certainly in our fighter meeting with Gon this week, he talked a lot about being light on his feet, staying on the outside of the power punches of his opponent, and uh, a lot of these heavyweights have had a hard time finding that kill shot against Sidel Gon. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Well, few heavyweights move as well as the former interim champ, Cito Don, and you see the footwork right away as this fight gets started. Yeah, the footwork leads to the jab. The guy does a great job of moving into you, and then he pops you. And then the moment you start to rush, he drops the big right hand on you. Cyril Gunn is a hard, hard puzzle to solve, especially as you go up in weight classes. Heavyweights don't move like Cyril Gunn, and you can see that as we watch him right now. Great defensive skills. He blocked that punch. Oh, big hook. That'll leave a mark. Looking to land the right just out of range. We cross the midpoint in round one. Great punch. Landed with so much power. All right, Jim. Now we're starting to see some bruising on that thigh. Pretty good job attacking that area tonight. I mean, this guy is digging his shin into hit the thigh. What a tremendous performance by this guy. Oh, high kick. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, nice hook there by Seattle Don. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike. Oh, 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 a big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, DC, when Cito Gon is competing like this, I know how much you appreciate his style. Just that bounce in his step. This man's on a mission team. Well, Johnny, he looks like a bantamweight. He's a big guy that can move like a bantamweight. He sets up his strikes beautifully. His, foot, his feet are never planted. He's constantly in motion, and that's why Cyril Gon has been such a problem for so many heavyweights. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is... Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it for going in the fight. Big right hand. Combinations here. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and that is one of the best five-minute stands as you will ever see from a fighter. Rocked him multiple times, unable to get him out of there, but came pretty darn close. He did come close to finishing the fight, but he didn't get it done. Now, it will be on him to try and stay patient, try to find the kill shot without overextending himself and putting himself in trouble. Ready to fight. Ready. Go All right, ahead. round two. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Head kick is blocked. Well, the cut man's getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. Ooh, head kick lands is hurt. Great job by Cito Gon to use his feet to get inside and land the jab. A lot of people are going to be trying to take this guy down, but he moves so well. People talk about Cyril Gon as if he moves like a welterweight. No, he moves more like a bantamweight. We have always talked about guys moving well at 135. Cyril Gon. Oh, my goodness. There's that left hand. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Aspinall's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant cut. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore, right? Because the more it starts to split, the blood starts to go into the eye. It not 
only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely shuts down that side of your face. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out problem. Oh, It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing to do. One thing to fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. Oh, two left. That knee might have landed there. Body shot. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front. Some bonus money is coming the way of these two athletes at night's end and the market. You ready to fight? You ready? Five Go. minutes to go. Oh, violent strike to the body. This could be the end. I mean, this fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. All right, Bruce Buffer now inside the Octagon has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen,